Your future children, each and every student sitting in this room, your future children are nothing to them but the vessels to usher in the radical societal change the left wants to enact in this country. Children be damned because the left hates women and children. The left hates women and children. They protest when you say this. They say, oh no, we're the party of inclusion, the party of minorities, the party that champions women. This, of course, is a lie. But that shouldn't really come as a surprise. This is the party, after all, that has built a palace of power on the backs of the people they claim to be for. I could give an entirely different speech called the left hates racial minorities, and it would be just as true as this one. So obviously, the left hates women and children. Before we talk about why, let's look at some of the ways the anti-woman party is actively harming the very people that societies should be ordered to protect above all else. Thanks to a pitchfork mob of woke, angry leftists bravely marching around in crocheted pussy hats, we have progressed so far in society that we now prioritize the transgender agenda above our children's actual physical safety. In fact, in Loudoun County in Virginia, it was even worse than that. A ninth grade girl, a freshman in high school, was raped in the bathroom by a boy wearing a skirt. That should be a horrifying headline in and of itself. But the school, the administrators, the school board, even the school district covered this up because this rape, this violation, this horrific event that destroyed this little girl contradicted their narrative on gender neutral bathrooms and the transgender ideology. It contradicted the idea that, yes, this is dangerous to the physical safety of young women and girls. And so they covered it up. This rapist, by the way, was convicted in a juvenile court of non-consensual sex, which is the equivalent in an adult court of a guilty verdict. But before this, the school allowed him to go back to school. After he'd committed the first assault, he was allowed back at school, just a different school building, where he committed another sexual assault. And that day, when the girl reported the rape, the school called the police on the father of the victim because he was righteously going ballistic that his daughter had been raped and nobody cared. This is the transgender ideology. Meanwhile, in elementary schools and middle schools, specifically in the city of Chicago, parents have no right to know if their children are transitioning at school meaning their child can walk into a classroom, tell the teacher that I'm not a girl, I'm a boy. These are my pronouns, this is my name, this is how I wanna socially present. The school will accept the transition and if the parent calls the classroom, calls the principal, the school will not disclose this information to the parent. This is the public school system and the transgender ideology. Meanwhile, the doctor who invented the transgender surgery won't perform it anymore because he knows it's not curative, it's just abusive, it's mutilation. And then we have this war on, on, the, chil on the children who suffer from gender dysphoria, prescribed puberty blocking medication that by the way is the same medication that used to be given to convicted sex offenders to castrate them. Matt Walsh said at one of his GAF events last year that transgenderism must be offensive to women in the same way that blackface is offensive to black people. Of course it is. It makes a mockery of what is true and beautiful about actual women. The wokesters love transgender wokeness so much more than women that they will even excommunicate one of their own if you don't line up behind their radical leftist ideology. This isn't hypothetical, just ask JK Rowling. The left doesn't care about the children suffering from being force-fed these lies. The left doesn't care about the children who are physically harmed in service of the transgender agenda. They never have. They only care about the wokeness of the thing. Your future children, each and every student sitting in this room, your future children are nothing to them but the vessels to usher in the radical societal change the left wants to enact in this country. Children be damned because the left hates women and children.